Well, the Slovaks are voting today to elect a new president. They are to choose between the pro-Western opposition candidate Ivan Korjok and Petr Pellegrini, running for the ruling nationalist left coalition. Now, the elections will decide whether Prime Minister Robert Fitzo will get an ally in the presidential palace or an opponent who could challenge his pro-Russian stance. Former Foreign Minister Ivan Korjok is up against Petr Pellegrini, who heads a coalition party in Fitzo's government. A victory for Pellegrini, who currently serves as parliament speaker, would cement Fitzo's power by giving him and his allies control of strategic posts. Well, the war in neighboring Ukraine is a core campaign issue. Pellegrini's, Pellegrini's candidacy is supported by Fitzo's coalition that immediately stopped and military aid to Ukraine, saying that the conflict has no military solution. Pellegrini accused Korjok of being a warmonger, ready to draw his country into the war by sending troops to Ukraine. Now, Korjok, who is slightly the favorite for the position, dismissed that opinion. In Slovakia, only the government and parliament, but not the president, can approve Slovak troops' deployment overseas. Now, Pellegrini also suggested that Slovakia would not be able to send its troops to other NATO members if attacked. He claimed the Slovaks' military not armed well enough to do so. Korjok was Slovakia's envoy to the EU and later the ambassador to the United States before taking the foreign ministry post in center-right governments in 2021-22. At the time, Slovakia was a staunch ally of Ukraine, providing it air defense and fighter jets. Fitzo's cabinet halted official supplies after taking power. Slovak presidents do not have many executive powers, but can veto laws or challenge them in the constitutional court. They nominate constitutional court judges, which may become important in upcoming battles over Fitzo's reforms that would dramatically ease punishments for corruption. For the 60-year-old Korjok, the main battle cry has been not to give Fitzo and his coalition all executive positions. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.